Hey guys, Nick Mock 007 here again today, and I wanted to talk to you about making DIY root tabs. So this video is not really going to focus on how to make them. There are a hundred other videos out there like that. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is a couple of uh, tricks and tips and uh, some things that I discovered along the way and give you guys an alternative to Osmocote Plus because uh, everyone talks about how great a DIY root tab that was, but Osmocote is no longer making that formulation, so I wanted to give you a couple other options. Now, if you already know how to make DIY root tabs, uh, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put an annotation right here so that you can skip through actually making the DIY root tabs and jump right to the part of the video where I talk more about what fertilizer I use and a couple other tricks that I've found helpful um, in storing and making these root tabs. All right, so what do you need to actually make DIY root tabs? Um, so you need some gelatin capsules, size double zero. You need uh, some fertilizer. Now this is what I use instead of Osmocote Plus. I'm going to tell you more about that later, but some kind of um, fertilizer that comes in the granules that is slow release. Gloves, these are optional, but I think they're helpful. And some kind of bowl. Doesn't have to be blue. All right, pour some of your fertilizer into said bowl. You'll need a couple of gel capsules. Depending on how many you want to make, this could be a five minute DIY or a much longer five hour DIY for all I know. Okay, once you're ready to go, you just pull the capsules open. Sorry, it's hard to film clear capsules, but I will try to do my best. They just pull apart and then you use the larger side as a scoop. Just get it full of those little granules. And then all you have to do is put the cap on. That's really it. And then just push it together and you're done. So all you would do with that capsule is uh, get a pair of tongs or use your finger and push it below uh, into your substrate to where it won't float up. Simple as that. Got a couple of quick tips for you. All right, here's the first tip. Uh, grab some of this uh, desiccant silica gel that you find in all kinds of things, sometimes packaged with toys, clothes, I've even found silica and food packets. And when you're storing your DIY root tabs, throw a couple of those packets in. What I have found is that over time, if any moisture, and pretty much any time you're dealing with a fish tank, you're dealing with moisture, if any moisture gets in this bag, what'll happen is these gel capsules will start to stick together and form holes, they'll kind of pull apart. Now, no big deal, you can still get them in the uh, substrate quickly, but I still find that putting in the uh, desiccant really helps preserve these things. Also, uh, what I find is throwing a couple of those uh, desiccant packets, uh, the silica gel again, into um, my actual uh, leftover gelatin um, capsules. Uh, that also helps keep these things dry and uh, make sure I've got plenty for a long time. Now the last thing is uh, what fertilizer to use. This stuff is really great. It's Dynamite Premium Plant Food Select. Now they make several different uh, varieties, so uh, find this one in the purple bottle. It's it's all-purpose indoor outdoor 1559, and you can see this is a slow release um, for you know uh, not aquatic plants. It feeds up to nine months. Now I'm going to put a graphic up um, here. Uh, well, here's the actual bottle. And you can pause the screen and take a look at that and actually see what's in it. But I'm also just going to put a graphic up, um, a picture of this and a picture of a um, Osmocote Plus label so you can compare. They are almost identical. Percentages vary a little bit here and there, but almost identical. And the cool thing is the only thing missing from this that's in the Osmocote Plus is zinc. So if you really feel inclined um, to add some zinc back, um, I happen to have some around. Uh, I was using it for a project um, in my outdoor garden and happened to have some around. So when I made some uh, these the first time, I added a tiny little bit, but you only really need a fraction. So be careful about adding too much zinc. All right, guys, hope this video is helpful. I uh, hope you learned something. Hope these tips were helpful. And uh, good luck with your uh, DIY projects. See you next time.